What's up guys, I'm Mike from Stocked Up and in this video, I'm gonna be explaining what options time decay is, also known as theta. So guys, every and any option you ever trade has some sort of time decay in it. The amount of time decay depends on whether the option is at the money, in the money, or out of the money. And it also depends on how much time is left in that option. So guys, there are five different Greeks for the options market that pretty much control the options market. Um, the Greek that is pretty much time decay is called theta. So the five Greeks are theta, vega, gamma, rho, and delta. In this video, we're gonna be talking about theta. So guys, pretty much like I said, every single option you ever trade has theta in it. And that means the option decays in value. The closer you are to expiration, the more significant the theta is going to be. So guys, you could see right here on this JP Morgan 93 put that expires in seven days, the theta is negative 0.17. So that means that every single day, assuming that the stock doesn't move, this option is going to lose $17 in value just because that's the that's the theta that's the the time premium for you playing that option however if we go and play the same option but another week out so instead of the may 8th option we trade the may 15th option the theta is only negative one three so that means instead of you know having the option decay by 17 dollars a day this one only decays by 13 dollars a day but if we go even further out to like the June, uh, the June nineteenth contract, the so like the nine, you know, so so the June contract doesn't actually have a ninety three expiration. So let me see another one that does. So the June fifth uh, only decays by about eight dollars a day. So negative point oh eight. So pretty much, guys, um, the closer you are to expiration the faster the option decays in value. So that's how theta works. So the last 30 days of an option's expiration is when the theta is you know, most significant. So you know, when you go further out and you're trading an option that has like 50 days left or 80 days left, the theta isn't gonna be that bad. You might lose a couple dollars a day in time premium, right? And that's not, that's not that bad, you know? You might lose like 1% a day on time premium. However, if you're trading a weekly option or any option that has 30 days or less till expiration, you're gonna be getting killed with theta. So pretty much, like you can see this 93 put is at about $250 and it'll decay by $17 a day. So 17 divided by 250, you're gonna lose about 7% per day just in time premium. So that's crazy. Now guys, this is where I wanted to talk about you know, how to use this to your advantage. Uh, pretty much, if you're buying options, the most riskiest thing you could do is trade weekly options. And that's because the theta is so big. So even if you predict the direction correctly, you can still lose money because you know the theta just eats away all your profits. So for example, let's say you buy an option, like let's say you buy this 93 put, right, for $250 and you buy this on Monday. And by the time Friday rolls around, um, you know, you already lost $17 and then you lost $18 and then $19 and like $22. And you know, the theta gets worse as the closer you get to expiration. So, but the bottom line is, look, at, you could predict the direction correctly, but you could still lose money because time decay. So guys, to use this video to your advantage, if you plan on buying options, unless you want to totally, you know, be very risky or like day trade or something like that, then, you know, buy options with more time in them. You know, buy like options with, you know, 35 days left in them or, or 40 days or, you know, just the more time you have, the better. It'll definitely work out in your favor. And, you know, it works out with one time decay, but also too, like if the, if the uh, direction doesn't go your way, uh, you're still, you could... You won't lose as much is what I'm trying to say. So unless you're day trading or you know doing some sort of very risky trading, then always trade options with, I would say, at least 30 days left of time in them. The more the better though. So I like to shoot for about you know 35 to 50 days for swing trades. That would be 
the best amount of time. That's the most ideal amount of time. And then guys, if you want to you know, find out how much an option will decay each day, uh, so I'm not sure how to find the exact number on Robinhood, but I know like if you just buy a naked option on Robinhood and you have the option in your portfolio, you can just click on that, scroll to the bottom, and you will see like Theta, Vega, Gamma, all the, all the Greeks, and the Theta value will tell you how much your option will decay each day. For Thinkorswim, <clears throat> for Thinkorswim, it is a lot easier. All you have to do is go to, and this is for the desktop platform, just go to the options chain, click layout, customize, and then when you go to look up a column, just type in T-H-E-T-A, Theta, and Theta will plot on your column, and it will tell you how much each option has in you know time decay. So it's really easy, but guys, just uh, a couple things to take away from this video. You don't have to fight theta like you could actually make theta work for you and you can do this by selling premium so you could see you don't always have to buy options you can short them too so like these weekly contracts that decay so much in value you can just short these things and have theta work for you so for example let's say this apple 295 call it's at about 280 dollars right now it's theta is going to be negative 0.27 so you could short this today, and then is you know if Apple remains the same, you are going to get twenty seven dollars just for you know time decay. That's how it works. So uh, I know selling options is very 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 popular among institutions. The only downside is it does require a lot of capital. Uh, however, to bypass this, you can always do what's called credit spreads. So credit spreads are pretty much when you short an option, then buy an option, like you'd short like the 295 call, and you'd buy the 297.5 call, and you would still get that options time decay advantage, okay? And then if you do want to long options to fight time decay, you can always just buy options with you know 30 days or more till expiration. If you guys gained some sort of value from this video, don't forget to subscribe. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments down below. Well, other than that, thanks for watching.